This has been a week that has stamped its place in history, one with plenty of pain and anger, but also signs of hope. Here's a look back at the week that was. We want change. It's been too long. How long are we going to take this? What's his name? John Floyd. What's his name? John Floyd. So until we have justice, there will be no peace. They hijacked our, our protest. All we want is peace. So to those who want to turn this into something that it's not, please stop. Tearing up our beautiful city is not the way. Being here, seeing it in person, this is horrible. I want to make this a parade, not a protest. We're trying to teach our kids that, yes, you can have a voice. Let's stop thinking that our voice don't matter and vote. Where there is no law, there is no opportunity. Where there is no justice, there is no liberty. The flashbangs are continuing to go off. Uh, tear gas is being used. The protesters are being forced back. Is that your Bible? State Bible. I just wish he opened it once in a while, instead of brandishing it. Police now advancing on protesters. <laughs> oh my gosh. Black people should get the respect that white people do by the cops. This is the heart of New York City, and like so much here, it is broken. Yeah. Expecting it and then seeing it is, it's not the same. This isn't a protest, this isn't rioting. This is, this is crime. You all understand health risks right now of being in large crowds. Yeah, I think the benefits of being out here definitely outweigh the risks. He will never see her grow up. Graduate. <laughs> Please stop the madness and let's just do it the right way. No justice, no peace. There is not a police officer over here that thinks Minnesota was justified. We stand with you. I absolutely support your guys' right to protest. I absolutely support that. I could be any one of us on any day. These charges are based on the facts that we have found. We got all four. We got it just shows that these protests are working and that they're actually listening to us. Still huge crowds of peaceful protesters, but few reports of vandalism and looting. It may not be in my lifetime, but it may be in these young people's lifetime that racism and injustice will be wiped out. Right, that's that's